Hello, friends. Hello, enemies. Hello, survivors and current people that might have the virus. Welcome to another beautiful episode of the Comcast. This week's Beer of the Week is brought to us by the Apocalypse Brew Works of Louisville, Kentucky. This Beer of the Week is called the Cremation. It's kind of morbid, but I like it. The Cremation Ale uh, of course is, a, you would. <laughs> is a cream ale, no ashes, just clean malt flavor with a crisp finish. It's pretty. Hey, we're not talking about rape this episode, but guess what? We're burning bodies now. <laughs> <laughs> well, when the virus takes over, that's what we're going to do anyway. This ale has a ABV of 4.7%. And like it says, there's no ashes, just a clean malt flavor with a crisp finish, just like any good cream ale should have. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Apocalypse Brew Works. Uh, this brewery, ever since May 2012, has been producing beer for the masses and for your survival. So, thank you again, Apocalypse Brew Works of Louisville, Kentucky. Drink beer till the end. Now, let's get in the episode. Episode number 52, bitches. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Comcast. I'm Ryan, your host, and joined with me is Cody, as always. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode number 52 of your favorite podcast in the motherfucking world, the Comcast, coming to you live from the bedroom. Hey, Ryan, how you feeling? I'm doing all right. Pretty good. Okay, how's the weather out there? Can we not do any more fucking voices? I don't know how many times I've heard, hey, can you tell Cody to shut the fuck up and not do any more voices? Who said that? Who said that? Quite a few people. Who said that? Who called who call me out? Uh, we who got, called me out? We got emails about Hey, it. it's a free podcast. It's entertainment. Yeah. We got emails from who? Who? People. Is this another fake email? Is this no. another fake email? No. What, where's it, what's it say? I, where's it at? I deleted it. No, you didn't. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> You're a fucking liar. Okay, what's up, everybody? We don't get fucking emails. How no, about that, we bitch? Don't. We, we don't, don't get any emails. So, how's everybody doing out there? It's Fuck Friday. Yay! Let's go out there and fuck something new. You know? We can't. Yeah, we virtually. can. Virtually. Let's virtually now, fuck something new. The doctors new. are telling you not to have sex, but I'm saying do it because that's the only way that we can beat the coronavirus. Just shoot it out of our bodies, okay? Right. If you're, <laughs> right. All right. If, you know, try something. What I'm saying is try something new, okay? If you're a dude and, you know, maybe try having sex with another dude, uh, you know, if you see, like, there's a hole in the wall when you, like, shove the door into it or something, stick your dick in it, okay? Uh, if you're a girl, you know, and you like girls... I, I don't, I, whatever. If your partner, whatever, you know, just scissor each other until your, you know, lips look like that was freaking no, red no, hot dogs. No. What? No. Too far. Huh? Too far. What's too, too far? That's too far. What's too far? Scissor? Scissor each other? Scissor. Yeah. So I can talk about dick and pussy, but I can't talk about scissoring. No, you're just... <laughs> I don't know. For somebody, huh? that, for somebody that doesn't have sex, you're talking a lot about sex. I've seen lesbian porn. I know what they do. <laughs> they rub on each other until they they they, they shoot everywhere. And then they okay, yeah. I know what I'm talking about. I mean, if you're not <laughs> fuck condoms, we're having unprotected sex because the, the coronavirus <laughs> isn't prejudice, and neither should we. All right, try Pre- something new. Prejudice against condoms. Yeah, try something new. I mean, if you're not religious, uh, it's it's like... It's, what? What does that have to do with anything? If you're not religious, start praying. Maybe that'll work, too. Uh, it, like It's just like, pray the gay away, but except it's pray the virus away. All I'm saying is, the hand sanitizer ain't working. People washing their hands ain't working. We might as well try to come it out of our bodies, okay? Because this is getting ridiculous. Let's have sex. <laughs> Jerk off. Masturbate. Hopefully Whatever. somebody hears this episode and wants to have sex with Ryan, because I think he badly needs it. I don't know. Play your, with yourself. Your 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 porn history just must look like We're all gonna die in a thirteen year old. And if you know it's not gonna be from the coronavirus, it's gonna be sometime. So what I'm saying is try new shit, experience new things, you know, rub up on a pillow, a, a couch cushion, something. 
Get a little feeling down there. I mean, we're not fucking dead people. Come give, on. Give your couch coronavirus. Go buy that fucking sex toy, the futuristic one we talked about. Go buy that motherfucker. They call it a love seat for a reason. Huh? I, I said give your couch the coronavirus. They call it a love seat for a reason. I, I don't know. That's awful small to be making love on. Uh, it's two cushions. So? I think they call it a love seat so people can sit beside each other. Yeah, exactly. It's a love seat for it's two a reasons. made up fucking name. And I, it's just a couch. Maybe it's a Midwest thing. It's, they call it a love seat. I don't know. Because, I mean... In the Midwest, that shit does not get used. Only one person sits on a love seat in the Midwest. Scissor me timbers. Stop. Why? You're fucking terrible. Why can I not talk about P and the G, but the second I talk about you, people rubbing up against each other, it's just, you get all homophobic on me. I'm not getting... Whoa. I am not being homophobic at all. I like how you're really defending yourself there. <laughs> because I, I, I stand firmly... Hold back up now, not me. I stand firmly against homophobia and racism. And wait, wait, everything you, you said bad. you did what? Stand firmly against homophobia oh, okay, okay. and racism and all things that are bad and anti-Semitic. So the fact that you're going into it like you know what you're talking about, that's what I was trying to get you to slow down on. What? I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I've, I've seen it done before. All the girls scissor at my school. <laughs> the internet is a wonderful thing, sir. I think you need to... You can learn something from me because you don't know even know how to Google. I don't watch porn. I don't have to. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying you don't know the internet at all. I like, do, I'm I am not. This this is the most. This is the most. My voice is on the internet. This is the most I'm on the internet right now. It's like you we record this. So shit. let's just say you. Uh, I avoid. I say the internet like a play. Bring up Tony Hawk or something. You're just like Tony. Do you really, do you, wait. Do you really want me to bring no, up? No. What Hawk? I'm saying okay. is like this is how you Google. If I say hey, bring up Tony Hawk's IMDb or whatever. Okay. You're just like Tony Hawk. The skateboarder <laughs> movies. That's you, what he is. That's but what, what he is. But what that's I'm saying is, all you gotta do is type in Tony Hawk IMDb. You don't have to be like Tony Hawk skateboarder movies. Cool. And <laughs> I I pride myself on how well I stay away from the internet and social media. What I are you talking about? It. I this pride myself goes on, on the internet. I know every that's week. What, that is why I'm saying this is the most I'm ever gonna be out into the ether. This right here, right now. Is that why you tried to give me your Google Home and I said no? But you still have an Alexa? No, because a Google Home's a bitch. I hate Google Home. I think it's fucking funny how you're That's just why like, she goes in the bedroom, because I never talk to her. Uh, Alexa stays downstairs. I like how you have two different ones. Like, you couldn't buy two Alexas. Yeah, two. dude. It's like the Civil War in my house. It's you crazy. Fuck. It's crazy. I literally, I can't talk to one, and sometimes I get it wrong, and I call the Google Alexa, and... Uh, oh, she gets up and slaps the fuck out of you, huh? <laughs> I thought she about came out the wall at me one time. No, idiot. I don't want... I like... I prefer Alexa more. Uh, she's definitely, uh, well, more educated, I would say, if a robot could be educated. She's definitely more educated. She knows more shit than Google. Yeah, it's I'm not going to lie. She really does. I appreciate Alexa a lot more. That's why she stays downstairs in the living room where I spend most of my time. So Yeah, I don't have that shit because I know because the government's listening. So. Are they gonna, what are they going to listen to you? Watch a uh, lesbian porn and masturbate? Yeah. Your porn No, I, I mean, I don't. Your porn watch history. I don't use volume. I just do it in silence. Like a like one of them black and white movies where it's just like subtitles. You live alone, you fucking weirdo. I like it. <laughs> this is the nineteen. Puts me back, it puts me back in time. <laughs> puts you back. Do you do you turn? I like your, to pretend. Do you turn the color off of your computer screen? I like to, to pretend be black and white. I like to pretend what it would be like to be deaf, and it's weird. <laughs> Not a big fan of it. But you can hear everything else besides what you're watching. Yeah. I just like the, the the noise of the box fan in the background. You're <laughs> just a up. just a nasty rusty your, box fan. Your search history probably looks like a thirteen year old Pentecostal. I delete kid. my shit in case somebody looks. Thirteen year old so Pentecostal. Fuck Who the fuck is gonna look at your internet incognito search tab, man? <laughs> <laughs> You're like a thirteen year old like religious kid, like so. like your Pentecostal son. We have Pentecostal friends, so prepare. Um, like, you're like a 13-year-old Pentecostal kid. Like, oh, mom, dad don't know about the incognito page. <laughs> Probably not. You live alone. Who's going to look at your shit? Dog. <laughs> no. It's always Buzzkill because he always walks in me on me all the time and I got to just stop. You can't fucking go. You can't keep going. People, if you are masturbating or whatever the fuck you're doing and it's weird and shit and you're nude just hanging out there and like your animal walks in on you, just stop. It's weird. If the least you have to worry about is the dog walking in on you, 
I think you're good. Like, hey, I think your life is pretty okay. You might think that my story's bad, but uh, who's had their nut lick, there's nuts licked three times by that dog? It's not three times. Oh, excuse me. Two one, times. No, one time. No, motherfucker. It was two. One time. It was two, bitch, because I time. remember. You're just like, why, why are you, you got to bring this up? Because it's fucking hilarious. Why are you hilarious. bringing this up? Because it's hilarious. It, why are you bringing this It's bullshit. <laughs> and, no, I did not. Let him do it either. Mm. Before you start in on it, I don't know. Then not let him do if it. If somebody's like, oh man, no, I'm, nothing I'm so tell- tired. If this dog comes up and lick my nuts, I'm just going to be like, whatever. Nothing <laughs> in the world compels me to have a dog lick my scrotum at all. At all. Nothing at all. Mm-mm. Not, not, nope. I mean, when you're taking a shit, he just like wanted to see what was up and you're just hanging out and he's, <laughs> he comes up and licks you in the cross and you're just like, Thanks. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks. It wasn't a thanks. His dog. It's fucking It out. wasn't a thanks. It wasn't a thanks. It was like pushing him off of me. It was, sure it was. Literally, because he I pushed him all the way across Because the he before. fucking loved it so much, right? He probably He's did. He's just a dog. He just licks stuff probably automatically. Did. Yeah. He automatically, he sees something that looks like a coin purse. And he's just like, hey, I'm just going to lick that and see what it tastes like. Yeah. Fucking stupid. Hey, you don't have to be ashamed by it. You don't have to be ashamed by it if it was an accident, okay, Cody? But you're acting really fucking defensive right now. So that makes me think that you're just like, hey, come here, motherfucker. Because this And then he just walks over here and he's just like, shit my balls. This shit shit happened like five fucking years ago. Who gives a shit? People don't forget. I guarantee you. No, no, no. Remembers. Nobody's definitely not going to fucking forget. He's like, what's that little fucking gray... Little package gray. that I licked. I'm not gray. I don't. I'm not an alien. Hell, I figured everybody's nut sacks are gray. There, uh, I think you got lack of blood flow. Sir. Well, I don't have a fucking. That's a little bit of lack of blood flow. Yeah, but I don't have like a like my. It doesn't look like my skin. It's like darker. Sack it. Sack what? Sack skin's always different. Sack skin? Yeah. No. Yeah, it looks like a. My sack j- looks just like the rest of my. Like fucking Benjamin body. Button. Like Benjamin Button. His forehead. Like little baby. His, his little forehead, his wrinkled forehead. You ever seen Benjamin Button? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when he's a baby and he's all like old and it's shit. It's not a different color. Huh? No, but it's all wrinkled and stuff. Like you just Everybody's sex wrinkled, bro. Mm. What are you talking about? I don't know. Maybe young kids aren't, but. Huh? We're talk- I was talking about the skin. It's different skin. It's not a different skin. It's yeah, the same it skin, dude. Oh, so you're telling me my thigh skin is different from my sack skin? No. <laughs> no. no. I just said it's not. Th- I just said it's the same. It's not the same. It is the same. It's different. It's different viscosity. It's different. Okay. different thicknesses. Hey, email the podcast dudes out there if uh, your sack skin is different from every other skin because it fucking is. No, because then we're going to get pictures and there's some dirty fuckers out there. Then I won't look at the pictures, you perv. You probably will. And then you'll delete your history incognito page so the dog doesn't see that it. That doesn't work for an email, you I love ass. how you're so concerned about a dog. And you're not concerned about... He's my best friend, and he licked your balls because... Bitch, he's your only friend. You paid him money. I didn't pay him. What's he going to do with money? You solicited What is he going to do? He's going to go to a dollar store and buy some fucking treats and some Alka-Seltzer? Maybe. What the hell is he going to buy? Maybe. Some Funyuns? Some Funyuns and a fucking Red Bull? Maybe he goes to a strip club. You don't fucking know. You're fucking... You're stupid. Yeah, maybe. You're stupid. I'm trying to have fun on this podcast, and you're... Creeping me out. <laughs> Episode 52. Welcome, everybody. Uh, our baby's almost a year old. What? This if this podcast was our baby. is almost a year old. Oh. We're almost a year old now. Yeah? Yeah. What if? Okay, so if this thing was a baby, how do you think it would look right now? I don't know. Would like you make it po- lick your nuts? If this po- <laughs> fucking curve? <laughs> if this podcast was a baby, it'd be real fucking ugly when it was born. Like, it was like... like like post meth baby, that's when it was born. A post meth baby. <laughs> post post meth babies are not cute. Like if Sloth from the Goonies was a baby, that's, that's what it'd look like. That's what this podcast would all, look like. All fucked up and shit. Yeah, yeah. He'd have like a uh, like a limp and he, like a. Twitch. And people think we're making fun of Sloth, but he was a superhero. Okay. Bitch had S, Superman, on his fucking chest, all right? And he lifted a boulder. <laughs> Are you sure? And let that fat motherfucker crawl in between his legs. Hold on. You sure it wasn't S for stupid? Uh, no. It was S for Superman. Or, wait, technically, it was S It's for his st- most famous line. Technically, he was like, sloth. <laughs> yeah. It was S for sloth. No, it was S. Yeah, we'll say S for It sloth. was a Superman logo. His though. most famous line is, baby Ruth and 
Sloth Love Chunk. No, and hey, you guys. You're forgetting about hey, oh, you guys. Oh, shit. My bad. Yeah. But he lifted a fucking boulder and let all them people crawl through his legs. That was a legs. fake boulder. I'm pretty sure that guy is the same guy that played Predator and... That dude was not big Harry at all, Harry and the though. Henderson dude. That guy looked like he drank a 24-pack a day. Well, the Predator guy isn't that big either, but, but I think they're all the same. I think it was Harry and the Hendersons dude, the Predator. I know Harry and the Hendersons and the Predator dude were the same guy. And I think he played Sloth as well. It was just like one guy, and I think he... I don't know if he's still alive either. The, uh, maybe the Predator actor was a black guy. Just type in... No, uh, the guy that played the Predator... Wasn't he a wrestler? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. And he was... He's actually huge. And he was a football um, player. Let's see. He is... Where's he at? Keep going. No. Where the fuck's he at? General Phillips. Poncho. Um, um, let me see. Hold on. Let me, let me do this one. Um, what does he do to Harry and the Hendersons? Do that. Because I know that he did both. And he's done a bunch. Like, if, it, if they ever needed, like, a big dude, he played it. Just go to cast. I like your Googling skills. They're even better. Shut the fuck up. Um, right there. No, it is a black dude. Kevin Hall. That dude did not play. Wasn't he on the Predator, though? Click him. It says he, maybe he was the voice. No, he was actual. He got the same teeth. Yep, see? Yeah. Predator. Uh, he played Predator 1987. He played uh, Harry Henderson's 1987. Predator 2 in 1990. I don't know what that is. Um, That's a black and white Harry and the Hendersons. Keep going. Um, Let me see. Monsters in the Closet. He was in Big Top Pee Wee. Star Trek. Dukes of Hazard, uh, Mazes and Monsters. He's in a bunch. He's in a bunch of shit. A bunch of monsters. So I guess. No, he... I know he's Harry and the Hendersons because he got the same damn smile. Oh yeah, I got like the same teeth. That's a dead giveaway. So maybe he was just in Predator and Harry and the Hendersons. So who the one? Who am I thinking of? I'm thinking of some other dude. He's like a, some. He used to be a wrestler and a football. Just player. Just type in Sloth and see his act. His, his name. I'm pretty sure he is, but I'm pretty sure they used the uh, the white guy. That's him. Yeah. That is him. Yeah, he was... John uh, Madzu... Ma, Mad... Mad... Madzuak. Madzuak? Madzu... Mad... Madzuak. Yeah. Uh, he was an ex-football player. So, John Daniel Madzu... Mad... Uz, Matt Uzak. Go to his IMDb. Matuzak. John Matuzak. M-A-T-U-S-Z-A-K. Matuzak. I can't. I, I'm fucking it up bad. Yeah, but he played Sloth from the Goonies. And he... I think he played more Predator, and they used him. Because... He just played in Predator 1 and Predator 2. And I think they used him for other ones. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, Sloth from the Goonies, uh, The Ice Pirates, One Crazy Summer. Uh, that's pretty much it. Well, it says all this shit. Uh, down the Drain. Princess and the Dwarf. Superboy. Never seen it. Perfect Spr- Strangers. He's in Miami, Miami, yeah, Miami Vice. The A-Team. Um, I don't know any of these. Keep going. That's that's about it. The Goonies, huh. Dukes, Dukes of Hazard, the Ice Pirates, whatever the fuck that is. Um, Mash, Caveman, North Dallas Forty. Huh? I guess he wasn't Trapper John, MD. <laughs> Trapper John, MD. What the fuck is that movie about? I don't know. It's a, Trapper John's a doctor. Oh, it's a TV series. It's like Doogie Howser, but but I know once they get like <laughs> with like with like possum skins. But like once I know once they get like a dude who does a part really well, they'll just usually stick with him, like they did with uh, you know Harry and the Hendersons and shit. But that was that was a big guy that had. I think he was probably wore stilts with Harry and the Hendersons because that motherfucker was tall. Yeah, uh, he probably did. I I don't know. It definitely. Definitely some versatile actors, but you never know who the fuck they are. Like, you never know who they are, but they're just in these epic roles. Besides I mean, the old boy who paid, played uh, Chewbacca. I forget his name. That dude was like, whenever he he died, like, a few months ago, and he was just, like, fucking cherished. Everybody loved that dude. Oh, uh, because apparently he was a, a, a 
They really, said he was the best, but really nice all he fucking, fucking guy. All he fucking did was made a noise. All he did was Peter Mayhew. Yeah, Peter Mayhew. And he I'm pretty sure he died like on the showing of the movie or something like that. Are they dedicated it to him or something like that? Well, see, he was in every He was in he all was, of them. He was Chewbacca in every single movie. No. Oh. Well, I mean, how the fuck are you going to replace him if he's still alive? If, if like Harrison Ford looks like death and he was in the call. He's in the brand new Call of the Wild movie. Hey, that movie is 100% animated, but it doesn't look too bad. Call of the Wild? Yeah. I can't get behind the, the Did concept. Did you watch it or something? No, no, but I can't get behind the concept of an old man being the, the boy that finds the wolf. When it's a young kid that finds the wolf in the Call of the Wild, like, that kind of defeats the purpose. Like, what the fuck's an old man going to do? He's going to rely on the wolf for everything. He's Indiana fucking Jones. And it's he, not... No, 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 no. It's He's not a Indiana, wolf. Yes. It's a dog. It's just a dog. No, it's a wolf. It's a fucking dog. The Call of the Wild is based off of a fucking wolf. It's a shitty German Shepherd. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, my gosh. You're going to make... Uh, this is going to be one of those where you say something, I say something. <laughs> And we're just going to have to fucking... It's a fucking dog. And we're just going to have to prove each other wrong. It's a dog. You're dumb. It's a fucking dog. I told you. It's a wolf, bro. The Harrison Ford one is a fucking dog. It's a fucking dog. It's a St. Bernard. It's Beethoven. <laughs> bro, that's not the Indiana thing. Jones and Beethoven. But the old one looks like a fucking wolf, though. I think you're talking about White Fang. Yeah, see? Well, see, they, that's a wolf. They have all kinds of Call of the Wilds. It's, is that what it's based off of? Yeah, that's a wolf. I don't know. That's a fucking wolf. That's the whole point. It's supposed to be a wolf. Look, even that one's a German Shepherd. See, the look, second one. Look at this one. The The concept of the movie is... I've read the book. The Why are there so many Call of the Wilds? I don't know. The concept of the movie is it's a wolf that's got been taken. Like, here's a husky. What the fuck? But the concept hey, of the that's, movie... That's as close as it gets, man. Yeah, the concept of the movie is it's a wolf that was taken as a baby and raised to fight in these dog fighting pits against other dogs. That's White Fang. Is it? It's White Fang. Fuck. And then the little boy, the, the boy takes it and brings it out to his cabin or whatever. That's fucking White Fang. That's called the wild, bro. That's White Fang. <laughs> cool. White Fang, White Fang is the guy who lives in the town and he gets the wolf from the dog he, fighting ring, right? Okay, that, listen. You, that's what you just fucking okay, talked about. But that's I you you were right. But the call, the, wild, the call of the wild, yeah, it's still a wolf. But but he that's where he lives out in the cabin with the dog. No, that's White Fang. No, it's not. I know my motherfucking dog movies. <laughs> I know my dog movies. Yeah. White Fang, bitch. <laughs> that's a dog. That's the movie I was thinking. Read of. the plot of White Fang. <laughs> Read it. <laughs> That's the movie I was thinking. Yeah, of. it's White Fang with the dude. He has like the the fucking bowl cut. His hair is kind of long. Sure, bro. I don't know. It's White Fang. Read it right there. It's a white. This is white ceiling. Oh, okay, white uh, ceiling fans. <laughs> white <laughs> Fang. <laughs> so it's Jack, right there. Jack London's classic adventure uh, story about That's the old friendship. One. This one. What? That's so fucking old. It's got an Indian in it. That one, bro, that's animated. Oh, well, the moron. other one. Click the. It other doesn't one. matter. It's 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 the concept of the movie. Holy shit, you nitwit! Oh my god, this is this is a fucking mess of a podcast. Hey, you're fucking wrong, dude. So Jack London's classic adventure story about the friendship developed between a Yukon gold hunter and the mixed dog slash wolf he rescues from the hands of a man who, who mistreats, mistreats him. him. Fuck jinx yourself. you, jinx you! Owe me a beer. You owe me a cremation, bro. Fuck you. Cremation. Oh, shit, that's Ethan Hawke. Huh? That's a young, good-looking Ethan Hawke right there that played yeah. in The Call of the Wild. Yeah. Look at that. He's actually kind of ugly. At least you can tell who Ethan Hawke is. Yeah, I know Ethan Hawke, dude. Ethan Hawke's awesome. Daybreakers, son. One of my favorite movies with him in it. Really? Um, Daybreakers is your favorite movie with him in it? Yeah. I, what's the new one he was in? Uh, The one with the Cowboys. Uh, that wasn't Ethan Hawke. That was Batman. Huh? That was Batman. Ethan Hawke was in it too. He was the one that was like the sharpshooter guy. Maybe he was. Yes. Dummy. Also, uh, I also like, um, what the fuck's that movie? The apocalyptic movie. 
Son of a bitch. Apocalypse Now? No. You've never seen that, and that's, you need to see that. I have not seen Apocalypse Now. That's a good movie. I have seen Apocalypse, though, though, and that's pretty good. That's a good movie, too. Mel Gibson's movie. So what are we talking about? Ethan Hawke, the movie about... Uh, Precinct 13? No, that's another good one. That's another movie. No, it's... Fuck! What the hell is the movie? I've seen them all! Training Day? Oh, shit, he's in that one, too. That's another one. I like that movie, too. Fuck. I'm, I'm good at this. <laughs> no, it, then you would help me fucking guess these movies. Okay. It's a series. The fucking world is you know, one night they kill it, you can kill Lost. everybody. Huh? Lost? One night the they The Purge. Can, yeah, The Purge. He's he in was the first awful one. in that movie. He's in the first No, he's not. He plays a good dad. He had 20 minutes. He there. saved everybody. He fucking died. <laughs> but he saved everybody. He save everybody. The... The the freaking the morning bell saved everybody, or them bitches were gonna die. He still saved like he killed like that entire group and their friends. No, he didn't. Other yes, people, he fucked them up. Other people helped. No, they, the, the the no no they didn't. Y'all they did. Okay, you got that 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 black guy that they saved from the, the military dude, and now he's and then he's in like all the other movies after that. Like, he helped out a little bit, but Ethan Hawke with that sawed off chainsaw. Handle shotgun, just fucking hate that. Blowing shotgun. bitches away. I hate that gun. I like that gun. It's stupid. You're stupid. You mixed up Call of the Wild and White thing. <laughs> you mixed up a white. No, you did, dumbass. <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> I know my dog movies. <laughs> name a fucking dog movie. Air Bud, bitch. What's up? <laughs> All seven a, of them. Name a dog movie. Air Buddies. Air Buddies. The little ones. Name a dog movie. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mm, so. I if I find seen it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, shit, I can't remember. I am legend. Dog in it. Milo and Otis. What's the dog in that? What kind of dog is that? Milo and Otis. It's a pug, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, Fuck you. <laughs> Did you know that they actually killed like forty dogs yeah. and cats in that movie? Fuck yeah. It was like a J- Japanese, Korean, one of those. <sighs> no, it was American. Oh, mm-mm. That's why the dogs died. They just, like, put these little puppies and, and cats, like, down the river, and if they got lost, they fucking got lost. But, it, yeah, they killed, like, 40 of them in there. So, the adventure of Milo and Otis, uh, basically... I don't want to see, see videos of it. It's the story of two animals and their adventures. Milo the cat and Otis the dog are two animals who grew up together, and they basically uh, get lost, and they have to Yeah, it's correct. Uh, Mon... I, I don't know. Japanese. Japanese? Yep. Okay. So, it's a Japanese, basically, film movie. So, it's... Yeah, it says right there. They called for a boycott, pointing to numerous that they killed over 20 kittens. And it doesn't say dogs. So, it's... uh Well, it was both of them, actually. Do you remember the scene with the bear? They killed, like, five of them, just on the bear scene. The bear murdered. I don't them. remember the bear part. So they had a it was a, it's a pug and an orange cat, and they get lost and they're trying to find their way home. So they're basically walking through the woods, and uh, basically there's a scene with a bear and a mountain lion, and they swim through like a rapid river, and a lot of them died because it's a pug puppy and a kitten kitten uh, red kitten, and so there's the bear killed like we all know how the coronavirus started, don't we? What? I mean, they eat weird shit. It started, but, I mean, it's it's not started in 1986. It's not the Japanese, it's <laughs> Chinese, but whatever. They eat dogs. We're bringing up coronavirus in this time of, of joy. Uh, this ain't joy. Uh, so, basically, they killed, like, uh, I don't know, uh, numerous animals. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it says right here, um, so Australian animal rights groups called for boycott, pointing to rumors that over 20 kittens were killed during the production and alleging that even more animals were harmed or put into dangerous situations. Yeah, literally, so the bear wasn't trained properly, and when you stick a pug in front of it, I guess a pug looks like a turkey fucking like, dinner. You couldn't find a better dog. It was just like, here, here's 50 pugs. We don't know what to do with it's them. It's the most helpless, mouth-breathing idiot of a I dog. Know. I know. I, no offense to people that own pugs, but they're cutest puppies, but yeah, they're fucking ugly. Mm-hmm. You got to keep them for the rest of their lives because then you just feel sorry for them. I mean, they put that cat in a fucking 30 foot tree. Yeah, I hear they lost bear. like five of them that way. I, I'm telling you, the bear murdered a lot of them. The river, they just drowned in the river. They're like, well, bring out another pug. But they did weird shit back then. Like, 
the Beethoven movie. Well, like when if you watch Beethoven the first one and the dog's running down the stairs and it shows like a shot of the head, that's Belushi in a fucking dog costume. And they John, made, it's John Travolta. It's Belushi. Is that Belushi? Yes, it is. They put him in a dog costume and made I him run it was down John the stairs. Travolta. It was Belushi. They made him run down the stairs. It was not John Travolta. That fucking weirdo. He was too busy getting slaying pussy at that point. Fucking Saturday Night Live and shit. He was a chick magnet. They ain't putting that bitch in a dog costume. Now he's bald and looks like fucking Howie Mandel. There's nothing wrong with a bald John Travolta. No. See, that's the dad. And they gonna and it's not gonna say they put pollution in it. That's just a I don't even know if that's true, but that's what I've heard. So you're the spound bullshit. Well, move over, motherfucker. No, like over with the cast. Oh, okay. You dumbass. You ain't gotta be mean. Hmm. I don't know. These are just their names. Google it. Belushi and Beethoven costume. I know you're fucking horrible at Googling. No, I'm not. Why don't you just... You just Belushi? Beethoven Belushi. Not Animal House. There you go. Beethoven. Yep. John Belushi as Beethoven. Bitch! It looks like... This is a SNL skit, you fucking moron. Okay. You're a fucking idiot. You're so stupid. (laughs) Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. (laughs) Dumbass. Oh my god. The coronavirus has got you, my friend. Too much porn and (laughs) coronavirus. Uh, We are so... We are we we actually here in the studio in the bedroom. We are so, uh, I want to say I can't, I can't think of the word. I can't I cannot think of the word. We are so um, we practice our our social distancing skills so well that me and Ryan are touching noses right now. That's that's what we're doing. No, we're right not. Now. We are kissing each side of the mic. You don't have to lie to these people. <laughs> uh, lying is what I do best. That is not something that you should. Say a lot. I don't lie that well. I heard what you fucking did today to Shy because it's we're recording this on April Fools, everybody. We record it on Wednesday and then it comes out on Friday. So. I am such a great boyfriend that I never forget a holiday. Right. So <laughs> why don't you tell us enlighten us? Oh, so uh so I called my girlfriend I told my girlfriend Cheyenne, I texted her today while she was at work, you know, because I only work, you know, a few days a week. Uh so I told her to call me on her lunch break. So when she called me, I came up with this elaborate plan. I at first was going to tell her that we need to take a break and see other people mm-hmm. because it's April Fool's Day. But I thought, no, that probably Now be- let that sink in, ladies. <laughs> let that sink in. He was going to April Fool's breaking up, crushing this girl's heart. Okay, now let's see what you actually did. So what I actually, I thought that was going to be, I, was, I thought, no. That's that would be a good idea. No, that's a little too excessive. I'm not going to do that. Why don't you say you came back positive for like herpes or something like that? Something funny. No, because that's for life, bro. Then it's, it's always fake. It's no harm, no foul. Now, go ahead and tell the rest of your story. I thought that that would be a little bit too excessive, so I didn't do mm, that. Too excessive, huh? Yeah. So I did not do that, and I thought, well, maybe she might get really upset, and she's at work, and that's not the best place to be upset. So I'll pretend that. So I'm going to lie. Okay, I'm going to tell a small little fib that I went to take the dog for a walk, and when I opened the door, the cat ran away, and I couldn't find her. Yeah, and she loves (laughs) this cat probably more than Cody. Uh, So... I was going into it, and I was came up with this elaborate tale that I was looking for for an hour, and I couldn't find her, and I brought the dog with me, which at the time I was walking the dog when she called me uh, to say that I brought the dog to help me find her. Uh, maybe she could see or hear something that I wasn't able to, and I told her I was looking through the woods where all the homeless people live across from our apartment complex, and... Everything like that, and she apparently started to tear Cry. up. Cry. She was crying. 
<laughs> at work. Not that much. She just started to tear up, is what she told me. And then I said, hey, baby, April Fool's. And she, uh, I'm, she, I paid for it when she got home. So she got me back. Um, kind of. I'm going to tell her about Bullocking's story. Then she'll fucking get you back. It's okay. You haven't said anything that's going to embarrass me. You were pretty embarrassed with that. <laughs> I think we need to divulge your, your, literally your porn, your porn searches. What's wrong with it? Don't ignite, don't incognito page for a week. Let's just see how many times you look at porn. Do you look at it like three times? For a week? Probably two or three? Two or three times in that week? Helps me go to sleep. The sound of orgasm, ravaging orgasms makes you go to sleep. I do it in silence. No That's so fucking weird. Not really. That's so weird. Just a rusty box fan. What's your, what's... (laughs) What's my what? What's your, what's your niche? What's your... What's your porn category of choice? Good dick, good looking girl. That's it. What do you search for? I don't search for anything. He's like, I just do Pornhub and that's it. There is no searching. I just Google Pornhub. That's it. And then I just good dick. I skim good through good dick and good looking girl. Now I just skim through for about five minutes and I see something. It doesn't matter if it's like the incest shit. I don't care about that. That because it's silence. Who cares? They're not just like, oh fuck me. You want to fuck me? You're like a dirty brother or whatever. <laughs> no, you're it's like in, a, you're like a dirty no bitch. I am your brother. <laughs> it's in silence, so it don't matter. Okay, if it could be black and white, that one hundred percent. I'm pretty sure you could just search black and white. Harrier the snatch the better. What well, I'm saying. I think we need to bring that shit back. Seventies Bush. Holla. What's up? That's 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 where they really shot JFK from. Hey, I, all I'm saying is like <laughs> they shot they shot it from the grassy knoll, which is AKA Bush. Yeah. Freaking make me fight for that shit. I wanna like have to like dig my way in to get that. That's what I'm talking about. Like a honey badger, just dig in there. Yeah, just treasure hunting for cocoa beans, ain't you, Willy Wonka? Yeah. <laughs> he made the Oopa Loopas do that. That shit was some slavery. I can't believe they let that shit fly. He made them. He's just like, you come work for me, I let you live here. That's slavery. <laughs> He's like, you come work for me. He's like, and we you get oh wait, you don't get money. No, you don't get we you pay get- you. They he got they got paid, but they got paid in what they did. So they loved coca beans. They got paid in what they produced. So yeah, so I'm not gonna pay you money. It's not gonna be in cars, no. houses, women. You're getting chocolate. Yeah, one hundred percent chocolate. Yeah, so it works for me, bro. I'm down. I'm down. What Bill- percent cocoa's at? Eighty percent. I'm good. And what I don't get is like the first movie, right? They were fucking orange, and now I'm pretty sure it was like all one guy, and they just copied him and shit with green hair. And the other movie, they were like from India. It was one. It was also one guy, and they were like from India, which I thought was also weird. Uh, I, I I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. I don't get how you get from being or, like you thought that a man that, from, that came from the mind of Gene Wilder. You thought that a man from <laughs> India was orange. If you're going by that, like you got white, black, yellow for Asian, and orange is Indian, or excuse me, from India. Where's the green hair? I, I give that baby some okay, color. Okay, whenever whenever Willy Wonka was produced, Ryan, they didn't really worry about colors. I'm talking about the new one. Oh. Mm. Old one and new one. Old one, no, nobody gave a shit. Back then, who cares? You got Gene Wilder in it. That's a plus. Now, the one with Johnny Depp, that weird motherfucker, all right? He's so weird in that movie. Johnny Depp is a weird individual. Johnny Depp is is a weird guy regardless. If it ain't blow and scarfs, he don't want it. I I heard uh, that they're wanting wanting to produce another uh, Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Yeah. Which I would watch it. I do like those. He movies. needs money. I mean, yeah, the, the dude is. I think he spends like uh, probably double digit grand, like well, ten grand. Well, he did just get a divorce, like ten so. grand a week, and he did get a divorce a few years ago, and he took like a lot of his money. Oh, his fucking money! All he does is he he spends like ten grand a month or ten grand a week on wine or ten grand a month on wine. Like what? That's that's some serious wine, bro. Fucking Natty Ice but, is like I mean, listen, fifteen bucks. Listen, dude, you're Johnny fucking Depp. Like, you you can literally buy whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, but he made like forty million dollars for all of those parts for like each Pirates of the Caribbean movie or whatever. And it's like you're playing the same character. He's like, why's the rum gone and fucking yo ho, me hearties? 
And fuck, dude, if I can make $40 million by asking where, why is the rum gone? And I tied myself to a pair of Oh, yeah, generals? I think they're remaking the Joker and he's going to be the Joker. They just made a Joker. Well, it's the new Batman movie. Uh, I don't know about that one. I think, it'd be by, I think it might be pretty good. I don't know about that one. I don't know. Bring back Heath Ledger, dust his bones off, and stick him in there. What I thought was weird is Johnny Depp is really good friends with Marilyn Manson. That motherfucker's weird. Uh, yeah, dude, but they're... But they, I like Marilyn They can Manson. be weird together. I like Marilyn, Marilyn now, Manson. Now, Johnny, but I mean, you're Johnny Depp. Like, you're Crybaby, Sweeney Todd... Your Jack Sparrow, Willy Wonka, like you, you, uh, your fucking Edward Scissorhands, all those five movies. We make that motherfucker. Yeah, Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, put him back in those the same five, 50s town where the nuclear five, bombs. Right, those five fucking movies alone, awesome, awesome. Yeah. They're instant classics. Uh, Gilbert Grape. I mean, nah. uh, okay. I just like watching to see that big bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! And she fucking dies. No, but if you're Johnny Depp, you could basically spend as much money as you fucking want on whatever the fuck you want. Like literally, you can buy whatever you want. Yeah, which is great because which he fucking did because he had like nine houses. Yeah, I I do like Johnny Depp. Sweeney Todd, one of my favorite movies. I mean, Ever Scissorhands. Come on now, that's <laughs> that's fucking awesome. I'm just thinking about that Gilbert Grape movie. Have you seen Gilbert Grape recently, or have you seen it all? I've seen the whole movie. Okay, well, when they get the fast food restaurant and they bring it in in a truck or whatever and it's yeah. a barn, mm-hmm. and it's like, oh, what's that dude's name's in it? The Talladega Nights dude. Uh, I forget his. Fa- I always forget his fucking I name. I cannot remember that his dude name. is hilarious. I cannot remember his name. Just do Talladega Nights. He'll probably fuck up. Step Brothers. Yeah, same thing. I forget his name. I always forget his name. Uh, John C. Riley. Yeah, John C. Riley. John C. Riley's in it, and he's he's really young in that movie. And it's just funny. Everybody's young in that movie. Uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. We've talked about this movie on here before. Gilbert Grape? Yeah. But I just think it's funny. They're just like, they just bring it in and John C. Riley just like turns around and he's just looking and shit. And he starts smiling. Like they're at a funeral and he just like turns around and they're hauling this barn, like a fully constructed barn, like fast food restaurant. The first fast food restaurant they got in this town coming in on a trailer. And he's just like at a funeral and just turns around and starts smiling and shit. And then the next scene is like them like hanging out. It's just like, it's real milk. Can you believe it? And they like, try it. And he tries it and he's just like, hmm, this is pretty good. And he's like, try it. This is real beef. It's a good burger, right? He's like, it's crazy how they do this stuff. And they're just super excited about it. I just, I just, I just think it's weird. I just know the one that stole the show was Leonardo DiCaprio as Arnie. Uh, Johnny Depp's younger brother. And they made that dude roll in shit. Like, dude, he's always dirty in that movie. He rolled in shit. Uh, he's like, hey, Leo, got some mud. Go roll in that bitch. And uh, you're, hit, you're mentally challenged. Go, that was, go do something. That was Leonardo, one of Leonardo DiCaprio's first movies. I, I We've talked about this on here before. It was a while back, though. But it, that was one of Leonardo DiCaprio's first movies and one of Johnny Depp's first movies. I think Johnny Depp filmed Cryberry around there or before I know. there. I, I just know you remember. can't like go full mentally challenged anymore. No, you can't do Gibble Grape again. Like you cannot do Arnie. But seriously, nope. you can't. Like if, if I don't even do Forrest if, if somebody walked up to Leo and he's like, "Hey, Arnie Grape, we're bringing it back." He's like, "Fuck you! You can't pay me enough money." Kevin Hart did the fucking Golden Globes or whatever he did, and they he like he hated it. Like it, that was terrible for him. And he, all he did was host it. All he did was a host. I don't know. I don't even think they could do Forrest Gump anymore either because t- Tom Hanks, I mean, he was great in, that, in Forrest Gump, but I don't think they could do it. I really don't. And Forrest Gump, wasn't, I don't really think was that bad. I mean, he, he was slow, and but that's about it. He was just kind of slow. He wasn't really, I mean, he was stupid, but he wasn't, he wasn't Arnie. He definitely wasn't Arnie. You know, Arnie was full blown, but, you know, Forrest. Yeah, you can't, like, you cannot do that again. You know. Now we're looking up. Leonardo DiCaprio was in The Outsider. Huh? The Outsiders? It's a different movie. Oh. It's The Outsiders and The Outsider. Oh, okay. Different. S. Where is... I'm not seeing what's eating Gilbert Grape. Gilbert Grape. What's eating Gilbert Grape? It's probably up at the top. No, it's the earlier ones are down at the bottom. I don't know. I don't know. Either way. He ain't in it then. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Leonardo DiCaprio definitely played Arnie. Yeah. Nobody else can do, oh, mama. 
Like he you can. are not allowed to do that. No, that's, that's a line from the movie. I don't give a fuck. You are not allowed to do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Apologize, bitch. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean anything by now, it. Apologize to Bo for assaulting him with your testicles. <laughs> what? Do it. He looked my nuts. That Peta, my problem. Peta, come get Cody. That okay? is not my problem. What do you mean it's not your problem? That's not my fault. He doesn't know what he's doing. He was a baby. He was like seven months old. And he was like, hey, lick my balls. And he's like, okay, I'll do it. I did not say that. So if you see Cody. He doesn't speak English. If you see Cody like talking to little kids and be like, hey, kids, come over here. You want to lick my balls? Be like, Cody, get the the fuck away from those kids. Because he is like, like, he's missing a van and that's it right now. Okay. Van the van. (laughs) Yeah. Van the van. No, I do not own a van. I will never own a windowless van. That is just creepy on a whole nother level. Why not? It fits your fucking image. No, it fucking doesn't. Uh I do not look like a pedophile. (laughs) Says who? Says me. Mm -hmm. There is a, there is a physical demographic of pedophiles or sex offenders. I don't have a mustache. I don't have big bottle neck or big bottle glasses. I don't have that. I'm not missing... That Ted Bundy was handsome. I'm not missing part of my hair. I'm missing all of my hair. What? Oh, wait. We're talking about molesters, right? Yeah. Ted Bundy killed one girl. One little girl. That's I don't it. know very many molesters. That's what got him caught, actually. That's what actually what got Ted Bundy caught when he killed his last victim, which was a 13-year-old girl, I believe. Yeah, because she didn't know when to shut up. <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> You you're talking shit about me. What the fuck is I don't I just what know, is going on? I just know if you were standing we, ha- we both have the coronavirus because we're just talking a bunch of fucking uh, nonsense. I'm right healthy now. as a motherfucker, all right? So if you if you were standing in that corner and you had like what? Like a s- ziploc bag full of what little Kit Kats, Smarties, or Snickers? Fuck your Smarties! <laughs> I ain't coming over to you if you put got some, Smarties. Put some, put some fucking Come sidewalk. here, kids! I got fucking Smarties. Smarties? <laughs> what? I ain't. I don't want no sidewalk. Bitch, talk. if you're gonna lure kids, get some like Dum Dums and some Snickers, talk. Kit oh, Kats, all that shit. You just got like a little ziploc bag and be like, hey. I remember. I remember in middle school, this guy crushed up a bunch of Smarties and sold it to this kid and told him it was cocaine for ten bucks. Huh? I knew a guy. <laughs> we were in. I knew a guy. We were in health class. We were just shooting the shit, and somebody gave him, like, one of their, I think maybe an Adderall, and he snorted it in class, and it was so silent that all you could hear was just, (laughs) 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 and I was like, did he get in trouble? No. Nobody knew. Nobody knew? You know why? Why? Because he was sitting behind my fat ass. (laughs) He's like, Cummings, get in front of me, and I was like, all right, what are you doing? And I hear his (laughs) fucking (laughs) Scarface back there behind me snorting a pill that he crushed up with a lighter. You crushed him up. What the fuck is going on? I didn't on? do it. The dude behind me Jesus. did. I'm too fat to take drugs What, like what that. grade was this? Uh, when did we take health class? Freshman year? <laughs> what the? <laughs> it was in health class? Yeah, it was in health that's class. That's so hypocritical. So? Holy shit, that's funny. I mean, they still showed us like the nastiest birthing video I've ever seen in my life. It's still the same one, too. Oh, yeah. How would you... Like, how, you how, would you like, how would you like if that lady... That lady is probably in her 60s. She's or, probably dead. Probably. This video is from the 80s. Like, I you think. couldn't pick, like, a decent-looking girl. It's just, like, she's, like, 40, maybe, and just, like, Gilbert Grape's mom, basically. She's pregnant. That doesn't mean you're not fat but when you get pregnant. Oh, my God. Like, I'm pretty sure she didn't even know she was pregnant. I, this video is definitely from the... I, I mean, if you're around our age, if you're in your early 30s to, well, teens right now, if you've taken health class, they probably still show the same video. It's the same fucking video. It's like late 80s, early 90s when they had decent to shitty... When they can actually videotape things. Yeah. And it's the and same people, lady. People, and she's never, been, people yeah. didn't shave down there. She's been showed to every kid's, every 16-year-old's eyes. And they probably paid her like 500 bucks for that. And her. Oh, yeah. And everybody's seen her. Everybody's seen her cooter. That was. For the next 30 years. Yeah. Like, like it's like your your cooter's more famous than any. Your hoo ha is the most famous hoo ha out of anybody. I don't know, and that's like that's where it, it's weird because that's where the step like becomes from being pornography to educational. Like if it was a wiener coming out and in, it was it's that's porn. porn. But if it's a baby coming out, it's educational, which is like five times the size. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That- now, if the doctor, like, pushed the baby back in and out a couple times, is that pornography? Uh, maybe. 
<laughs> what the fuck is this? Assisted. What? What is this? He definitely got an assist on that. What? What are we? What is this thing of a fucking discussion? What do you mean? This is just oh, this is that's been this whole fucking episode. This is wild, dude. You get licked in the balls. I talk about watching silent pornography. Um, actors, uh, you can't tell the difference between White Fang and Call the Wild. One thing about a podcast is, uh, just be honest, let the people know you, because <laughs> that's definitely what we do. Oh my God. This sure is do. crazy. Well, what time are we at? We're at 50 if you want to go ahead and do some news stories. We can. Uh, what news stories? Coronavirus ones or non-coronavirus I mean, I got ones? one. I don't know how many you got. I've got a couple. I do. I do have a few. Um, I, it's. I, I know it's really hard not to talk about coronavirus right now, and we will talk about it. Um, Mine's not. I mean, right. Uh, we we can talk about it. It's not that we have a problem talking about it. It's just it's, it's fucking everywhere, man. Right. Uh, this is okay. I didn't go to work Monday because I am so sick of going. Okay, so we're essential workers technically. We both of us, yeah, both we, the businesses we work at, they are, produce medical yeah, devices. They're technically essential businesses, and I mean, it's good that we get to keep going into work and stuff like that because a lot of people can't, and that sucks. It it, it really does. Um, but the thing is, going in there and the stress of dealing, having to deal with that because you're still going into work, and people can you can still get sick. It's uh, that's all you hear about. That's all everybody talks about. And it's been that way for, I don't even know how long this has been going on, a month almost? It's been going on about a month. That, here in like in Indiana where we've been affected by it. And it's just, it's I, I didn't go to work Monday because I was like, I need a fucking day right. just to like chill out. And now I'm back there, you know, and it, I've been there for two days this week right now. And it's, I'm already tired of it again, man. But it's, it, it's that the reason why we don't want to talk about it a lot on here, we are are not neglecting the conversation it's about just it. It's depressing. We, we are not saying that it is not a dangerous and sad time for a lot of people, yeah. but we are not condoning the negative hype of it. Now, I will say that this, this COVID-19 has a lot of hype and a lot of publicity and media behind it that is making it a lot worse than it should be. Now, I do understand that people are dying and people are getting sick, and it is a pandemic, but keep the media down. Keep the spread of rumors down because it's only making it worse. That is why we don't want to talk about it. We try to bring out the good. We don't like talking about it because it's depressing. And we want we do this to have fun and right. you know make you guys laugh, yeah. talk about stupid shit. We don't want to bring it down. Yeah. It's already down. We don't want to bring it down anymore, okay? The day that we turn into a political podcast is the last episode you will ever hear. Yeah. Because we... Because then we will kill ourselves. <laughs> right. We, we do not... We do not... Uh, we are not into politics at all. We want this to be entertaining for you and for us because the moment that this becomes not entertaining for us is the moment that you will no longer hear this podcast. Right. I promise you that. So... Let's get into some news topics. With that being said, uh, I do have a few COVID-19 related and a few that aren't some let's fun burn, ones. Let's burn through them quick. All right. So we have right here. So people are selling. Okay. So with the pandemic going on right now, people are selling Big Macs from McDonald's as collector's items. In uh, Why? <laughs> they just came out with the new one. Like, and that's, they that's, have a single? The the single, the regular Big Mac, and the double. Really? Yep. Now see, they this is only in the, because the UK <coughs> the UK closed all of their stores, all of their McDonald's stores. Yeah. So in the UK they're selling them as novelty items. So a regular price for a Big Mac is like what, two dollars and something, three bucks, something like that. No idea. I mean would say I it's more I like don't five? eat Mc, I don't eat McDonald's. No, I would not say for, for a meal, meal it's probably like seven or eight bucks. Right. So they're selling they're selling these basically so sixteen dollars US for a novelty Big Mac item in the box and everything. Not a been eaten. novelty Big Mac. Yeah. Well, we already talked about before where the motherfucker last ten years and it didn't shift at all. Right. Like, and no mold, nothing. It looks fine. Yeah. And then we <laughs> had the novelty candles that they created in the is what the, the Big Mac or the double quarter pounder. 
It was a it was a big. Man. I remember it was like pickle, onion, and like who wants an onion? Hundred percent, hundred percent fresh beef, yeah. trademarked, trademark, a hundred percent fresh beef. Bitch, if you trademark a hundred percent fresh beef, I don't want it. Hey, they trademark Happy Birthday. They trademark the Super Bowl. People just are greedy, greedy motherfuckers. They just want money. We need to trademark the cum cask. Somebody's gonna take it. We could. It wouldn't take that long. It'd probably, probably take it'd probably take like six months to get it back, but. That's, That's okay. It. That's okay. I don't think it's that expensive. I don't think anybody wants to name the Comcast. I don't know. I don't know when I mention it. I'm just kind of like, I thought it was a pretty creative name when I came with it. Well, we've used it for a year, so we're fucking rolling with it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very unique. I ain't changing it now. <laughs> right. So, uh, so one listing on eBay shows a, a nearly, nearly full box of chicken McNuggets with six missing. So, it's a box of 20. So the motherfucker got hungry. So yeah, so the motherfucker got hungry and he is going to swap the 14 nuggets for, for a four a, a big for bag. a four pack of toilet paper. Is this this isn't a pawn shop. You can't just I'll trade you this isn't high school lunch or middle school lunch. I'll trade you 14 min nuggets for your Big Mac. You can't I, that's what? And like McDonald's is taking trades? Like, no, no. I, these nuggets listen, are. Listen to what I'm saying. I just did, and that's what four I heard. Pack, four pack of toilet paper. Oh, toilet paper. You didn't listen to what I was saying. Well, you're not making They're sense. selling Big Macs as novelty items, and they're selling half eaten boxes of chicken McNuggets for four packs of toilet paper. Why? Or what makes you think that's a good deal? God. You can wipe, your, you can wipe your ass for a week. Bro, I'm taking a toll. Or paper. you can get, you know, curve your hunger for three hours. What would you want to do? Uh, three, that, that ain't going to curve nobody's hunger for three hours, man. It's so pumped full of preservatives and MSG and shit. It's it, it's made to make you more hungry. Yeah, but there's 14 of them. Mm. So that ain't much. Feel your belly. They're shaped like boots and ovals. I don't know. That's a shitty deal, though. That is. Uh, I have another one. This is a actually a happy COVID-19 uh, story. So people are gifting toilet paper and hand sanitizer to delivery drivers uh, as a great way to say thank you for continuing their service, being out around everybody um, amidst the uh, shelter in place rulings. <clears throat> so basically people... For FedEx drivers, USPS, delivery drivers, such as food service, uh, catering, everything like that. So people are leaving these on their doorstep or in the garage or something like that. Just putting a basket of hand sanitizer, toilet paper, paper towels, anything they might need. Um, so they say Amazon's infested right now. With coronavirus? Yeah. Oh, I guarantee it. And you keep <clears throat> ordering shit from Amazon. That's okay. It comes in a box. I'm good. That's what I'm saying, but they... <laughs> And sneeze in the box, and then you fucking open it up, and you got it. It's okay if I get it. I mean... Yeah, I, this motherfucker doesn't delay his shipments, people, because... It, yeah, he, I did. He's an yes, asshole. Yes, I did. It's not coming... It's not coming till next Saturday. Oh, boo. <clears throat> that was a delayed shipment. That the, My delayed shipment... I ordered this... What is it? Huh? What is it? Necessary stuff. Like what? Uh, Food. Food. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't go... Food this. and a uh, remote control oscillating fan. Because it's going to get hot, and I need one of those. Walmart? They don't have them yet. It's a seasonal item, bitches. Oh, seasonal. It is. Everywhere is seasonal. Nobody carries fans during the winter. Nobody. Nobody. What if you get hot? Who the fuck knows? You're just going to heat yourself to death. Walk outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold out. <clears throat> so, one one delivery driver uh, for FedEx, actually, on this, on this article... He said, oh, oh, man, you're a lifesaver. Thank you so much. Uh, they Because they offered him a 12-pack of toilet paper, hand sanitizer, and with the unavailability of these certain items, it's really hard to find these things. So it's glad to know that some people, even though they might look greedy in the store buying more quantities than they need, they're actually giving it for a greater purpose than just hoarding, hoarding it because who the fuck is going to use 10 cases of hand sanitizer? Fucking nobody, bro. Your 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 hands are gonna be antibacterial, and they're not gonna. They're just gonna be dead. <laughs> take you a year, maybe even longer than that. It would, t- it would take you a long fucking time. Yeah. So I'll do one. So <laughs> this is. I mean, 
It's toilet paper related. So a truckload of toilet paper burns in Texas highway crash. <laughs> so I kind of laughed at this because I was like, oh, that serves the motherfuckers right. But then there's still people that don't have any. Right. So uh, this happened this morning at four in the morning. Uh, authorities in Texas said a truck driver was injured when his vehicle caught fire on the interstate and the flames destroyed some precious cargo, a whole low truckload of toilet paper. Uh, the Texas Department the Texas Department of Transportation said the truck crashed around 4 a.m. Wednesday, which is today, uh, and burst into flames on Interstate 20 uh, near southern Dallas County. The truck driver said he hit a bump. This is very suspicious. The truck driver said he hit a bump, lost control of the vehicle, crashed, struck a barrier, and caused the truck to overturn. He hit a bump. You drive across country your entire life, your entire career, and you hit a bump? That's a big bump. I it must have That's been. like one of those speed humps in Jacksonville when we went on vacation last year. Yeah. Those things are those things are fucking mountains. Well it was going okay. it was going into a cul de sac. This dude's on an interstate. Okay, when you're in a when you're in a Chevy Malibu and you go over a speed hump, not a speed bump. Yeah, they were humps. They called them humps. Okay, so in the South, I've never seen these before, but like Quasimodo's but fucking in the southern back. In, yeah, in the southern states, these things so a speed bump is just a little ba doop. Speed humps are like a whoop 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 whoop. Yeah, it's like you, a, you literally got to go up, drive a full car length, and then it goes back down. Yeah, and I forgot the going into a cul de sac that these fuckers were everywhere, and I was going forty miles an hour when we went over, it, and we're driving a Chevy Malibu, two big fuckers in a Chevy Malibu that we bottomed out. We definitely and it was a rental car, so sorry. I can't remember what our rental car company was. <laughs> Fuck them, they didn't catch us. <laughs> Fuck them, they didn't catch us. So, uh... They didn't have a fucking cigarette light outlet in there. They didn't have or a, any... Or a no, USB you, port. In 2018, you didn't have no fucking USB. You didn't have no cigarettes. How is some, a motherfucker supposed to smoke these days? Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to smoke in a rental car. Fuck them. Who cares? <laughs> you can't even have a USB port? That's some bullshit, man. Yeah, we literally looked everywhere. We looked under the seats. <laughs> under the seats. Under the console. In the fucking visors. Why would it be up there? But it wasn't there. In the center console, in the glove box, everywhere. Bitch wasn't there. Um, so the driver and his dog, they weren't injured. Yeah, I guess he had his dog with him. Uh, when the firefighters were called to the scene to extinguish the flames, uh, officials said the whole truck's load of toilet paper burned uh, extensively before they arrived. And then now they're cleaning it up. But they said it was thousands of rolls. So... Damn, that that that's probably gonna put a hurt on the communities around there that he was gonna deliver to. Also, good bonfire though. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, no, that that does suck though, because that was probably gonna keep the community uh, around there or multiple communities going for a while. Yep. Because I mean, nobody uses a twelve pack of toilet paper unless you got like eight kids in a few days. That ain't gonna happen. I don't know. I just know I don't shit that much. I definitely don't. So, uh, are we about at time? Uh, we're at a minute eight. A minute eight? Yeah. An hour eight? Do a couple more. What do you got? Okay. So, I have <clears throat> right here the world's most disgusting cheese. Uh, this is just something interesting I've seen. Um, is it dick cheese? <laughs> <laughs> no, Gilbert, it's not. Uh, so... The world's most disgusting cheese uh, is called Casu Marzu. Uh, and the world's the, the reason why this is the world's most disgusting and dangerous cheese, it is basically made to sit out and rot so that uh, fly larvae can lay their eggs in it. That's like that coffee where they let the that cat in the Amazon eat the coffee beans and then it shits it out. Yeah, and it's uh, like Kobe Luwak. And it's like $900 a bag. <laughs> yeah, so so basically this is in Europe. Uh, Obviously. <laughs> so basically when the fly larvae get into the cheese, they lay their eggs. Uh, the, fly, the, the fly larvae, the maggots, come out of the cheese, which give it its distinct texture and... Um, it like holes in it basically. So that's what gives it the distinct texture and flavor. What's wrong with Swiss man? It's got holes in it. Uh, so in the European Union, it, uh, it is a delicacy 
Uh, kind of like, so it's kind of like caviar and like spam in Hawaii. It's just everybody raves about the unique flavor. And I mean, okay, I get blue cheese. Blue cheese is fucking good and it's moldy, but let's not let flies land in it uh, because that's gross. Flies are gross, they're everywhere. Now, see, if you think about it, though, this is kind of the same thing. Like, the Kopi Luwak, did they even wash the beans off, or they just leave the shit on there? No, I mean, they wash them. Are you sure? Yeah, they wash them. The only thing that it does is it gives it a unique flavor because the acid in the cat's stomach uh, gives it, a, it tastes different. It gives it a weird flavor, and that's why. they When they it shits it out, they're, like, all shriveled and stuff. But it's just the way the acid reacts with the coffee bean, I guess. Yeah, so it uh, that consists of particularly digested coffee cherries, um, which have been eaten and defecated by the Asian palm, what's it, palm kibet, which is a uh, cat, looks more like a. It looks like a lemur, yeah, kind of thing, more like a monkey type of. But basically, that's what they look like. They look like it looks like a, a payday. Coffee bean turns. It looks like a payday. Yeah. They literally look like a pain. Is that coming out of your butt? That would that would actually like feel, rock that would actually probably feel kind of good. Like rock candy, like textured shit coming okay, out. Okay, your you're butt. like dogs lick your balls. You're wanting like fucking rock candy come out your ass. So trying to tell me something. So the Asian palm cuvette is a uh, is native to South and Southeast Asia. Um, so it has been red listed as least concern as it is as it accommodates to a broad range of habitats it is widely uh, distributed with large populations that in 2008 were thought unlikely to be declining in indonesia yeah they want to keep them because they get so basically it's like a it's like a mere cat thing and i mean they literally just eat the beans because i guess it tastes good and they shit out paydays and basically (laughs) did you see it it says weasel coffee is a loose english translation (laughs) so some type of weasel okay so it says right here uh, although Kobe Luwak is from a processing rather than a variety of coffee, it has been called one of the most expensive coffees in the world, with retail prices reaching 550 euros, per which is $700 per kilogram. So that's like basically a bag. I'd say they probably sell them in kilogram bags. Okay, uh, two so pounds. two pounds. So I, I bet deal. they, I bet these two pound bag of coffee, seven hundred bucks. <laughs> two, it's like cat that shit. is not a good <laughs> cat shit coffee. Cat, you want some cat shit you coffee? Want some cat shit coffee. <laughs> two pound. You can buy a just over a two pound bag for seven hundred dollars, people. Yeah, roughly, roughly, it might be more. I don't know. Maybe the other cats down at the other farm got like little crowns on their head or something. Well, they're, they're not farmed. They're wild animals. These are coffee farms. No, they're not. What is is it a coffee farm, coffee plantation? What is it? Pretty sure they just walk around in the Amazon pick up cat shit. <laughs> oh. Like weirdos. Yeah, like how do they find it? Do they find it in the field? Or do they like walk through the forest and like, hey, that's our beans? There's there's coffee trees. Are they trees? That no, coffee work? coffee grows on the ground. Oh. On the ground or in the ground? On the ground. Oh, well maybe they just walk around there. If you like, I bet it just passes right through him with the caffeine. All the caffeine. Yep. Yeah. Automatically. Them motherfuckers are wired. I guarantee it. They're freaking bouncing up and down and shit. They know they okay, can Okay, so it's a plant. Yeah. yeah it's it's a plant. So, it doesn't grow on the ground. They, it's kind of like... Um, well, it technically does grow on the ground. No, I thought... I meant like... Uh, it's a bush. I kind of meant like peanuts. Like, they're kind of like under the ground, but not under the ground. Like, uh-huh. growing on the ground. Like, uh, like lettuce or some shit. But huh. they're not... Okay, so that's basically what it looks like. Cool. So, uh, yeah, they're probably fucking wired, like you said. Like that one time I made that espresso bark on Christmas. Mm-hmm. I made that a dark chocolate espresso bark, and you drank coffee right before that. And then I you just cups. and you're sitting there munching on espresso bark. You're like, dude, what's in this espresso bark? No, no, that's not what I said. I had two cups of coffee, and I was I had like two big ass pieces of that espresso bark, and I was sitting here. I was like, what? I was like, what'd you put in that coffee? And he's like, nothing, it's just coffee. And I was like, well, I am fucking zooming right now. And I said, Brian, <laughs> you were drinking coffee when you got here. We ate Christmas breakfast. 
I said I gave you more coffee, and now you're munching on espresso bar. Like I was like, that's candy. what it is. I was like, now you're munching on espresso bar. It's fucking candy. And I told you, I had like a couple big pieces before we went to the grocery store one time. Yeah. And about 15 minutes later, I was like, this shit is kicking in. Yeah. I was just, sitting, I was just sitting there, and I was just sitting there, and like, you know how like you get like a coffee buzz or whatever. You're like, you're really antsy and stuff. And I was sitting there, I was like, man, when'd you put this coffee? Because I am fucking zooming. <laughs> But it was that espresso part. That was some good shit. The only thing is it got caught in your teeth. That's the only thing I didn't like about right. it. But it was pretty good. Okay, so let's... Unless you want to... Do you want to keep talking about the cheese or are we done with the cheese? No, fuck that cheese. Okay. Would you try it? No. Not even on like a Triscuit or something like that? Like a nice what? whole wheat cracker? Triscuit, Triscuits have no flavor. So you want me to get... <laughs> Triscuits are like... Triscuits are like high cheese with a Triscuit. Triscuits are like a smash flat mini wheat. They're like weaved in together. They look like Triscuits they look are, like they look like my girlfriend crocheted them. Triscuits are for bitches who won't eat saltines. Okay, <laughs> that's what they are. They're a fake ass cracker. I don't know. I, I'm more of a Ritz guy. It's like those wheat the round. I'm more of I'm more of the Ritz the round ones. What's the wheat cereal? The mini wheats. Yeah. Fuck those things. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it looks like it looks like my girlfriend crocheted a Triscuit or a mini wheat together. That's what they look like. They're woven together. It's just fabric. like a. It's just a breakfast crouton. Is what it is. <laughs> breakfast crouton with some powdered sugar on the shit. Yeah, that's basically it. There is more sugar in frosted mini wheats than a fucking candy bar. Yeah, like, there's like twenty something grams of sugar in a frosted mini wheat. Cereal's fucking horrible for you. Oh, it is one hundred percent. All it is is sugar and cardboard. Yeah, basically. So. Um, that's all pretty much all the news stories I got. You want to wrap it up here? Yeah, let's wrap it up. Okay. So this is a new segment I want to run by you. I'm doing it live right now as we record. So I thought this, this is kind of interesting. So maybe we start doing like a book of the week or book of the month. So basically, oh, where are you going to get it from? Amazon. Huh? No, I've already read this book. Oh, so I just run just to run it by you live. So uh, a book. Well, of, I wish you'd go ahead. So a book of the month. Basically, it's uh, reading is a great way to expand your mind, your knowledge. Um, totally ex- expand your imagination. Maybe you can get some tattoo ideas from these books. Right. Expand your imagination. Um, I have. That's what you need to do. With expand the, your imagination with the, with the blessing of this new job that I've got. I have a lot of time to read and listen to audiobooks, which I know a lot of people do as well. Um, read and listen to audiobooks. Um, How to kidnap kids. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's like that's like when Siri came out. They they started banning certain phrases like, like where to where hide, to a, hide a, a dead body. body. Yeah. And it's like Well, it's and, just where to hide a body. If there's and it's a like body in a dead. swamp. And it's like in a swamp. In a swamp, you know, in a field, under a lake. <laughs> under a lake. Yeah, under it. How do you... F- you dig under it. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it in a crack. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> so basically... Um, so here's my recommended book of the month for all of you people. I have... Uh, I will read these books ahead of time. Uh, and we'll give you one once a month uh, for uh, just a recommended reading. You don't have to read it. If you do, that's great. Uh, the A lot of these are on Audible or audiobooks or Kindle, or you can buy the book themselves. So this this uh, month's book of the month is the New York Times bestseller, Own the Day, Own Your Life by Aubrey Marcus, who is the founder and CEO of a supplement company that I personally love and use um, called On It. O-N-N-I-T. So own the day, own your life is optimized practices for waking, working, learning, eating, training, playing, sleeping, and my favorite, sex. So this book is yeah, basically... right. It is. So this base, this book is basically, it's a way to, since I've already read it, it's a way to own the day. And if you can own today and you can own tomorrow and the day after that and the Are day after that, read that, do you can basically... Uh, own the rest of your life. Do what? Are you going to let me read that? Read what? The book. You got it, don't you? Yeah, I've got it. Okay. So, basically, if you can own today and this whole week, you can own every day of your life. And the book goes through with practices to optimize yourself, optimize your daily living. And I know sometimes um, it is hard to get into the rhythm of these things. 
But if you just try it, if you set something on your calendar, uh, like Aubrey says in the book, I personally am a big fan of him. Um, so I, I follow a lot of his shit. He also has a podcast called the Aubrey Marcus Podcast. It's <laughs> it's great. You should check it out. Dear Diary, masturbated today. Thanks, no. thanks Aubrey Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> but it has great practices. It is not a self-help book. So if you think about it being that, it'll just turn you off the fact. Think of it as personal development. Because that's that's personally what I think. It's growing your knowledge in being the best you you could possibly Because we want you to be good people, not like Cody. Yeah, basically. So read the book <laughs> because I read it. Cause I, yeah, it hadn't fucking changed either. <laughs> Keep your kids away from him. <laughs> And your dogs. Just give it a try. If you if you appreciate reading, if you appreciate um, if you appreciate listening to books on audio, you appreciate reading. Yeah, I, I do appreciate reading. Actually, I thoroughly enjoy it. So just check it out. It's just a recommended book. Um, we will have this. Will not be the type of book. Mm-hmm. I even though this is the type of person I am. This will not be the type of book that I will recommend all the time because I also love fiction. So uh, just. If you Wizards want. and shit. <laughs> so, just give this book a listen. It's a great book um, for personal development, for owning the day, owning your life. Uh, so, shout out to Aubrey Marcus for producing this great book. And you can check out all this stuff at AubreyMarcus.com or his podcast, the Aubrey Marcus Podcast. So, that is your recommended reading for this month. We will, I will recommend another one in... May May 1st May 1st or whenever or whenever the first podcast in May for you guys to check out so check that out if you want to I promise you will not regret it for a self development owning your day own your life be a better person than you already are right now so thank you all so much episode number 52 Ryan close it out for us oh boy like I get to finish it out no oh what the fuck <laughs> Thanks, everybody. That's the episode of the Comcast, episode 52. We appreciate you so much. You have no idea. Thank you for being there for us because we are there for you with this whole bullshit coronavirus crap. Um, we, you can always download our episodes, download past episodes, and we're going to keep uploading them every fucking week, every Friday like we have been. Nothing's going to change. We're always going to do it. We fucking love you guys. Thank you so much. We love doing this. We love doing it for you. Um, that's all I got. Close this bitch out. Thank you all so much for listening. A f- almost a fucking year, everybody. I apologize because of the lockdown and the social distancing. We, unfortunately, most likely will not have any guests on until the lockdown and social distancing Distancing for Indiana is yeah. lifted. So I do apologize for that. It's just going to be me and Ryan for a little while. Maybe we can get shy on or something. I don't know. We, 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 will work, we will work on getting some guests very shortly. But as soon as this lockdown uh, gets lifted and the social distancing goes away, as soon as it gets controlled, we will have guests on. We will blow your fucking minds away with outrageous guests because I have a huge lineup ready for you guys. So I'm sorry again. It's just really hard right now, and we don't want to risk anything with uh, family members being in the age range and having health uh, yeah. health benefits that are not good for having the coronavirus at the same right. time. They get it. So thank you so much. Almost see you guys. Love the fuck out of you. Follow us on everything. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Cover your fucking mouth. I love you. And remember, when life gets hard, when life gets you down... You milk that motherfucking pig. Don't take any shit, people. Peace. Hashtag pig milker army, motherfucker. Yo. Episode 52. We out. Jesus. <laughs> Bye. Bye.